Hello everyone, my name is Dennis and today I want to discuss with you the difference uh, between buying a townhouse or buying a, an apartment as an investment. Uh, this video is related only for uh, investors, people who are buying a property to make some profit, not for the end users. If you are an end user, uh, all this doesn't really matter because um, uh, in the end of the day it all comes to your personal preferences. Uh, where would you like to live yourself? But for investors it's a little bit uh, different story. Uh, so in this video I want to compare uh, with you uh, such uh, things as uh, location, size, rent and uh, exit strategy for both of the options, townhouse and apartments. And uh, I cannot say that uh, uh, there is one uh, solution for, for everyone uh, and uh, in the end of the day you need to speak with uh, your agent uh, before you will make uh, any decision and uh, you need to like really find out what exactly fits your requirements, your specific requirements. Uh, but um, uh, for now, let me just compare uh, both of them. And uh, I personally have my own uh, preferences and maybe you'll have a different one. So let's start with the location. Uh, let's say you have a budget of 1.5 million uh, dirhams. For this budget, you can get a good unit on the, uh, like, on the waterfront and let's say in the prime location. While if uh, we're talking about the townhouses, most probably it will be somewhere uh, far from the sea. So uh, apartment will have a better uh, location. It doesn't mean that you will not be able to rent your townhouse. No, you will find a tenant. Uh, but I think it's better to, to have a unit in the, in the prime location when it comes uh, to the investment. Uh, one of the reasons why people considering to buy townhouses is because they get a bigger, uh, bigger unit. And uh, yes, it is an advantage but i don't think that for investor it's uh, so uh, crucial if you have a one bedroom that uh, uh, gives you the same amount of money as, uh, as a townhouse um, it's the only thing that you should uh, care about that uh, uh, you are receiving good uh, good returns is it a small unit or big unit it doesn't really matter for them uh, for the investors uh, let's talk about the rent uh, for the rent uh, the main difference is that uh, if you own a townhouse, it will be a family uh, who will uh, rent it uh, from you. Uh, so family is more uh, stable because most probably both parents are working. And um, uh, for, for the apartment, uh, the main advantage of the apartment is that uh, you can rent it as well on a short term. It's quite rare when somebody will consider to take a, a townhouse uh, as, as a holiday home. There, there are cases, but with the apartment it's easier, uh, easier to do. Uh, and this is the main advantage of the apartments, and this is a good advantage to consider if you are an investor. So we discussed with you the, the location, the size, the rent. Let's talk about the exit strategy. So when you own a townhouse, most probably you will sell it to the end user when you will decide to sell it. Um, and uh, what does it mean to you as an investor? An end user, they are usually paying, uh, they are ready to pay more than investors. Uh, so uh, you can make some good money on the resale, but uh, end users, they are very, very picky about the units. So if you are buying a townhouse as an investment, uh, you should choose the best possible option. It should be close to the park, uh, to the community center, something where you will even consider to, to live. So uh, this is important when you're buying a townhouse. And it's not uh, that important to this extent when you're buying an apartment because uh, you have uh, more options to whom you can sell it. You can sell it to the investor and you can sell it as well uh, to the uh, end user. And um, one more thing, uh, one more difference between these two options is that when you're buying a townhouse, uh, you will need to pay less maintenance fees. Uh, why is that? Is because when you own an apartment, um, uh, you need to pay f for for the AC that is in the halls, in the corridors. You need to pay for the elevator. You need to pay for somebody who is cleaning the windows outside. When you own a townhouse, you don't need to pay for all this. And the standard maintenance fee for the townhouse is four dirhams. And if we're talking about the prime location uh, for the apartments, the maintenance fees over there will be somewhere around 18 to. Uh, to 20 uh, dirham per square foot. Uh, obviously the townhouse is bigger than, than the one bedroom apartment, but uh, still you will pay less um, for maintenance fees for, for the townhouse, which is, uh, uh, which is a good point. 
Uh, if you will ask me what I would uh, prefer to do, I would definitely go for the uh, apartment uh, because it's uh, it has more uh, flexibilities, put it this way. Uh, it's easier to, to rent, you can consider many options and uh, as well it's easier to, to sell it. So these are my thoughts. Uh, once again, there are very good and uh, promising uh, projects uh, with the townhouses and uh, uh, it's good to discuss it with your agent uh, before you make uh, any move. And uh, in the meantime, let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think is a better option for the uh, investment and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.